Come on, long summer conversation, yo. Come. What is that? Is it... Why, why, why that seems like a family picture, bro? Like me and my granny sitting. Like why, bro? I cannot fathom the idea uh, and the gratitude that I have for this video, bro. Like for real. I'm beyond, like, bro, listen. What? This game has been my jam for so many years during the era of PlayStation 2. Like, I finished this game so many times. And, like, after wife, I didn't have anything to play. I forgot oh. the intro, bro. I cannot believe I'm playing this on YouTube, bro. Oh my God. Nice, bro. Just, I was like, you know what, bro? I've been feeling like coming back to this one just for like the nostalgia, you know? Not finishing. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make that a series or not. Um, that also depends on like your reaction on the game and stuff, if you like it or not. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what do you think about your list of the roses. And for those of you who haven't played that, welcome to my world, bro. Like, one of the best games in my core memory low key without further ado guys let's hop right in what's up yo welcome everybody. i hope you're having an amazing day i hope you're having an amazing week so far bro and today ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be playing duel Yu-Gi-Oh! duelist of the roses let's start bro let's start without further ado uh england uh on 1480s the Wars of the Roses, a power struggle between the houses of Lancaster, Red Rose, and York, White Rose. The decided royal successor was nearing an end. With the Yorkists were in the lead, the reign of Richard III was but a step away. And in French, Yugi, Henry Tudor, the last Lancardian, La Lancastrian heir, was being forced to live a life of exile not gonna lie i don't remember the story since like i was being a kid and know but like the lancastrian forces were rendered powerless by ancient cards of sorcery wielded by seto and his seven followers who known as the rose crusaders served under the flag of Lord Crawford, a powerful Yorkist nobleman. Lacking a duelist to champion their cause, defeat was imminent. 
for the Lancastrians. In England, dual card games were still at the fledging state. Thus, the Lancastrians had to look elsewhere for a dual master capable of facing the Russian crews in battle. Can we have a, a round of applause for how smoothly I'm reading it? Thank, thank you, bro. Thank you. With this in mind, Margaret May Buford of Lancaster secretly requested a high druid to summon a duelist from another age. That's where we step in, bro. Straight up, they called us from the future, bro. Let me bring my deck, bro. What about Eternal Soul? What about Soul? So Simon. Simon McMurrin, bro. Ooh. Summon from the mystic circle of red and white roses, the one capable of harnessing pure power. There was truth to the legend of the Rose Duelist. That's right, bro. The Chosen stepped in for like, I don't know, the hundredth time. La Lady Margaret, I, I, I did it. Now we have the means for defeating the evil forces of Rosencrews. <laughs> oh, my apologies. In my excitement, I'd forgotten I was in the presence of the Rose Duelist. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Simon McMurrin, High Druid and Servant of Lancaster. Bro, companies, if you want a voiceover, bro, hit me up. I don't know, bro. I, I'm impressed too. Maybe so bold as to ask the name by which the Rose Duelist would like to be known. I don't give a f at this point, bro. You summoned me 700, 600 years back? I'm gonna be named Protonian, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the business. I'm gonna start the business early, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm. Protonian? A fine name indeed. Now, here is the situation. The year is 1485, and you are currently in Stonehenge, near Salisbury, England. England is in turmoil with the House of Lancaster's rightful claim to the throne being challenged by the Yorkist usurper as the power struggle is referred to as the Wars of the Roses, a name based on the badges used by both sides. A red rose for Lancastrians and a white rose for the Yorkists. Right now, our kingdom is threatened by the Yorkists and their wrongful claim to the throne. All because the Yorkists enjoy the support of the Rose Crusaders and their Sorcerer's White Rose Cards. Using our Red Rose Cards, we summon you, Protonian, to this day and age. We hope that your dueling experience would defeat the Rose Crusaders and lead us to victory. You will help us? That is actually, will you? Oh! Of course you will. Foolish of me to even doubt where your loyalties lie. You be trying to, yeah. So Simon, just be, just because you brought me back 600 years, bro, what about my career? What about my life, bro? You know what I mean? And you didn't even bring my, my deck yet, bro. You didn't open a portal saying like, you know what I mean? Drop to strange shit. Take your deck. we bouncing. I was going to fold them in a second, bro. Bring them all my oh. yeah, bro. Rumor has it that only the legendary Rose Duelist stands a chance against the power of Frozen Cruz. We appreciate any help you can provide against them. Ah, before I forget, I should warn you that the rules to dueling die fair here. 
from those of your age. Yeah, bro, for sure, because we have links, XYZs, uh, we have synchronous salmons, we have a lot of fusions. Uh, we be having some crazy shit happening, honestly, like Dark Magician is still a jam up there, bro. And they be playing with Dragoon, which is actually support for Red Eye. Here in England, dueling is governed by what is known as the perfect rule. In addition to several minor restrictions, there are two major differences. One is the existence of movement or positioning. The other is the deck leader concept. Deck leader concept. These are two aspects of dueling that were lost in the process when the ancient sport of duel monsters was adapted to card form. The perfect rule represents these lost rules that were miraculously revived here in England. Perhaps a per oh! Perhaps a per a per perhaps a practice duel will serve better than any explanation, shall we? Ah, uh, nah, bruh. Damn! I'm the chosen one, bruh. I don't need tutorials. Tutorials need me, bruh. First, Bretonian, you must select a deck to duel with. Couldn't I just bring my own? It is important that you feel the vibrations of a deck leader. The minute resonations that ring through your soul. The cards themselves draw their power from the energies of the ancient ones. The deck leader acts as an intimidate between the ancient ones and the deck will dare. Protonian, it is essential that you select a card leader whose rhythm matches the stirrings of your soul. Here are several decks from which to choose. Give it some serious thought and make your selection. Choose carefully, for the deck you select will guide the destiny of your duels. I've went extra hard, I know, bruh. I felt it, right? Like, so deep, bruh. Pause. So I think I'm gonna go with the twin headed behemoth. Yeah, because he kinda have the light and the dark, which I won't. He has dragons and magicians. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you. Twin headed behemoth, it is. Ah, I see you have selected your deck. Hmm. So that's the effect of the Celtic Red Rose cards. It looks like there's some... So who is talking right now, bro? It looks like there is some truth to the rumor that Red Rose cards are capable of time transformation. Who's there? <laughs> you imbecile. It's been some time since the Battle of Burnett, old one. S straight up, Seto, bro. Seto Kaiba. Straight up disrespect, always. Pros and crews, what brings you here? Only a member of the Rose Crusaders may call me by that name. If you may recall, I told you once before that you may only address me as Seto. Or does... Memory fell you, old man. Oh! Straight up disrespect, bro. And you, you must be the dreaded Rose Duelist. I must admit, there is a certain aura of power emanating from you. That's right, bro. Seto, you be, you be straight, bro. I believe an introduction is in order. I am Seto, leader of the Rose Crusaders. There are members of our little group who prefer to call me by the name of Seto Rosencruz or Sir Rosencruz, I don't know. I ask you again, what brings you here, Seto? Simon, you need to Seto your ass down, bro. Mind your manners, old man. What else would bring me here? I've come for the Red Rose cards. 
After all, it was you who showed me how the summoning capabilities would evolve when the Red Rose cards are combined with the transport powers of the White Rose cards. You, you weren't thinking of attempting the Forbidden Rose summoning, are you? If so, then the Red Rose cards must never fall into your evil hands. Card sorcery taps into the powers of the Ancient Ones. <sighs> By their very nature, each card is a double-edged sword that can cut both ways. The Rose Guards alone harness tremendous power. There is no telling what horrors one might unleash to the world combining both red and white. I will sacrifice my own life if need be to prevent any from uttering the spell of doom. The spell of doom? <laughs> Fool! The 16 red and white rose cards grant power overall. Druid legend has twisted the true meaning of these cards. We rose crusaders have sworn to create a utopia free from the ravages of war. We intend to accomplish this with the power of the cards. And we shall do so by extending the rule of Richard III throughout the known world. <sighs> by the way, it was clever of you to form a cycle. A circle of red roses within the white rose. Barrier to summon the rose duelist. But you were foolish to come alone. This area is surrounded. And if you wish to live with your life, you will do so only by handing over the red rose cards. <laughs> Me? A, a, a fool? Then what about you? Are you fool enough to actually believe the Red Rose cards would remain here in my possession? Right after the summoning, I had the cards disappeared among our best duelists to keep them from your tainted hands. Then you leave me with but one option. I shall unleash the aid of your precious Rose Duelist. You take leave of your senses? If you speak too soon, old man. Heed my words, duelist. If you wish to return to your proper time period, you will require 16 card of red and white roses. The red and white po the red and white positions must be laid out in reverse of the summoning order you send you home. Seto, you just told me how to do the ritual, bro. I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful, no. You, you cannot be. You know the spell? Since you need the 16 rose cards just as much as we do, I propose a partnership. Help us gather the cards and I shall guarantee your return after we've achieved our ultimate goal. An absurd proposal! Do you think that the Honorable Protonian would even lend an ear to your ridiculous proposal? Bro, I've been killing it, yo. I've been killing it, bro. Can you be so sure, old man? Let me see Simon's side has eight of the Red Rose cards, while my side, the Rose Crusaders, has positions of the eight white rose cards. As the numbers are even simple, arithmetic indicates that you could side with either of us, but I'm sure you will take into account who's winning the, this war. After all, who was desperate enough to summon you in the first place? Oh! I think it's quite clear which side is better Position to send you home. Pr 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 
Estonian. He not these words of this this power hungry lunatic. Simon, must you resort to name calling? I'm heard. I will tell you what. Why don't we leave the decision to our dear do list? Why you gotta be leak psyching? Oh, whoa, 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 now. You got too much dip on your chip. After all, Simon, the duelist's future is now for us to decide now, is it? Well, uh, yes, but. Splendid! In keeping with the tradition of the old Tepon Gardens, I offer you a choice, duelist. Here are two roses. The white represents me and the red of old Simon here. I killed that, bro. I killed it, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it. For, mm, for the sake of justice, choose the red rose. Stand by my side, duelist. Choose the white rose. Side with Lancardian, Lancastrians, side with Yorkists. Honestly, I've like throughout throughout all this time that I played the game, I've I did my first share with Seto too, but I feel like playing this game in the first quest, Simon, my man right here, my druid man, summon me to help them. It would be really f oh. if I was gonna be like, okay, yeah, Seto, you on bro. Like you know what I mean? So I'ma side with Lancastrians, bro. Like Lancastrians. <laughs> How disappointing. Oh well. You made your choice, and I respect that. For now, I will guarantee your safe passage until you've met with Yugi. After all, I don't want our little game to end too quickly. That wouldn't be hmm, sporting. I look forward to the day when we meet again, duelist. Until then. I always wondered that. Why do you make the waters yellow, bruh? Why do you make the waters yellow, bruh? Look at the sound, bruh. Okay. Yuki, the druid, Simon, and Joy with his grandpa. Nice. Protonian, I present Prince Yugi. Last prince of Lancaster. A true worst man. And the hell of we who call ourselves Helps. My lord, may I present Protonian, the Rose Duelist. You serve as well. Oh, yeah, let me find a different voice for Yugi. You serve as well, Simon. My mother was wise in summoning you from Scotland. You honor me, sire. Why is Simon gonna feel like a little bit sad, you know what I mean? Duelist, I am Yugi. Actually, Henry Tudor is my name. But I find it tiresome you may call me Yugi. I'm sure Simon explained our situation, but it's only right that I request your services myself. I need you to return to England and put an end to the threat of the Rose Crusaders. What you gonna do, Yugi? You gonna stand right there, bro, having a breakfast? The White Rose Guards form a barrier that prevents my armies from setting foot on British soil. Although we Celts have the Red Rose Guards, we are but in a inher inheritors, inheritors who are unable to wield the full power. In the hopes of reversing our fortunes, we grumbled on a druid legend that spoke of a rose duelist. According to the same legend, one must use a deck whose cost is lower than an opponent's to capture a rose card of another color. I believe that it is important that you keep this in mind, Duelist. The cost of your deck 
should not exceed the cost of your opponent's deck. I would like you to know that our resources have been pressed to the limit, requiring us to invade England by August. My troops will land in Milford Haven, Haven Wales and march on to face the enemy at Bosworth Field. Having all of the Rose Crusaders out of commission by this time would be ideal, but ours, that might prove difficult. Any reduction of their force would be appreciated. Right then, let us part company and reunite in Bosworth. Simon will provide Simon will provide you with the details as to where and when we will meet once more. Luck be with you, duelist. Bro, why do I feel like I killed that, bro? Killed that, bro? Wow. I don't know how long I've been doing that, but like, wow, bro. Something happened with the game and I had to stop recording and make it all over. But here we are right now onwards to fight Rex Raptor or fight Chester. I'm going to go with Rex Raptor first. And my power is... Oh. Bro, he has 130 something more power than me, bro. 135 power, bro. Oh my bad, I didn't read Rex's uh, Rex's uh, lines, bro. I've killed it with it with that uh, uh, with that insurance, bro. Fighting, I guess, against your kids. Woo, bro! The twin-headed dragon looks fire, bro. Let me tell you that. Um. I have to. Oh my god. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Do we, Yeah, okay. Someone is coming right here. So, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move right here. And I'm gonna summon right here. Ooh, baby dragon. Alright. Not even one? Wow. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna see some fusions. We gotta see some fusions happening, bro. I'm really happy that I'm playing this game, bro. For real. Alright. I'm moving right here. And I must start. Ooh. Wait, what do you do? Uh, when this card is flipped face up in battle, the opposing enemy is spellbound for one turn. Oh, okay. Why do I remember that this and this or this? I might, I might honestly do that. Damn it! I remember that, bro! God. I don't know why I've remembered that, bro. That tells you how many times I've played the game. All right, let's see. Nice. I didn't even know what monster was there, bro. All right. Okay. Me and my baby dragon going smooth. And maybe I'm a summon... Ooh. Wait. Damn it. I thought, I thought, I thought, bro. That might be a raptor and I might be like in a, in a bad situation, but I guess we shall see. Yeah, I guess I guess we shall see, bro. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, she's obviously moving forward, so I'm a, first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm a, uh yeah, I'm going to put you in defense position. I'm going to move you here. And I'm going to move you two guys right here so that I can move forward. 
And maybe summon behind me. Uh, remind me, increases the power of dragon and sea serpent monsters by 500. All right. I might put, honestly, I might put that right here for upcoming like battles and situations because I feel like at some point he's gonna be pulling a really powerful monster. Ooh. Okay, first dinosaur. And it's brush your radius. Bro, I want, oh, wow, 2,027 grand, bro. Wait, what? Bro, I missed that, bro. I can't believe I'm playing this game right now, for real, though. Damn, you look ugly, bro. I also loved playing with uh, Black Meteor Dragon a lot. Like, I loved it. Remind me, whenever damage is inflicted to LP in battle, the the damage amount is reduced to zero. Uh, you're a dragon, you're a winged beast, you are a winged beast, so why don't we do that? And that goes to waste. So... I don't wanna, I'm gonna do that. And now I'm move the fin right here. Have I moved you guys? All right, I moved me too. Let me take a step with my boy right here. Even though I think this is a, a dead end for me because he's gonna have some either some uh, 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 spell or trap or either he's gonna have something like a powerful monster. Okay. He keeps clicking at that, but I don't know what's up. And my monster ain't that powerful, so... Okay, I guess I'm gonna do that. Also, we need five, five, uh, seven stars, all right. So, should I do this? Maximum number of monsters on the field. Oh, no, I don't like that, no. Oh, yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'ma basically move forward and I'ma play one card face down and I'ma end my turn. He's stepping up his defenses. He's stepping up his defenses and oh my god. Yeah, he's spellbound. That buys me some time, but I don't know. I don't know. Sword Arm of Dragon was the name. What are you fighting, bro? Nah, fam. Ugly. There goes my app. Fully abs, baby dragon. Wow. All right, all right. I'm be getting my ass whooped. I'm gonna play a card right here, and what I'm gonna do? Nah. I'm not risking that being nice. And before we do that. All right. Why didn't do none, bro? I don't know at this point, bro. Anyway. All right. Kaiser Dragon, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why do I think it was Kaiser Dragon with the Thunder uh, with the Thunder Dragon that made this amazing fusion that I really liked? Look at nasty, man, na bro. Damn! He folded my boy for real! Wow! All right. All right, all right. Nice, and that little animation for Kaiser flying. Nice. Let me see what's happening here, bro. 
<gasps> it was a bluff? Let's see, bro. Uh, remind me. Flip so enemy cards to the field face up. Bruh. Yeah, I activated spell card. Dark preaching light. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Damn. What is that? Okay, okay, okay. I think I think with the Kaiser Dragon, we're cool, bro. Oh no. Oh no. And she's pushing, bro. He's pushing, bro. So I'ma fold you really quick. How is Nurabi be having 2,000, bro? Basically, every card of his has a, a, a 500 plus attack, bro. Making, making, bro. What is you, sir? Woo! For 50 points! Do I push a little bit more? I think so. Um, you having 200. Ooh. Honestly, I need to discard some cards, bro. So yeah, let me do that. What? Oh. Ain't no way! How did I do that? I already forgot the combination. How I ended up with a brush? You I mixed it with a green figure goblin and two dragon figures, bro. What is that? What does that do, bro? LP recovery? 500. Okay, who gives a freak? So here's what I'm gonna do, bro. Since my boy has that amount of, like, movement, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna do that. Listen, listen. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm I'm cook really quick, bro. I'm gonna cook. I promise you that. Let me see where, he, where he's at. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so now Kaiser is gonna also have uh, 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 great stuff, bruh. Great stuff. The only thing that, yeah, I should have. All right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Even if he's like keep moving like that, I'm gonna catch him because I'm gonna close him up in the corner, bro. I'm gonna do what he wanted to do with me. Yeah, keep running away, bro. There is nothing you can do right now. Oh, you wanna fight me? Bad, bad, bro. You gonna kill my 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 uh, uh my monster? Bad, 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 stupid, bad. Bad. First things first. Holding you. First things first. All right. My Kaiser Dragon, bro. I cannot move. All right. Um. So where my where my body at? Honestly, I think I'm a, I might do a backup for Kaiser. Oh, I hate when this is happening, bro. Damn. Okay, okay. It's not. It's not big of a difference. So we cool. All right. So, bro. Yeah, he's gonna keep summoning behind until I go and like my ace right now was that dinosaur, bro. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 nah. Chill. Robbie? Damn. 
Bro, I folded half your deck, bro. You still have monsters in there, bro? You know what I'm most afraid about? The, 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 the ace up his sleeve, bro. Like, that is what I'm most afraid of. Um, where my body at? Nice, nice. Cutting corners, cutting corners. Okay, you might need to step up right here, bro, because he be coming really quick. Let me see. Um, what is that? The, uh, the disposable trap that triggers against the monster with attack of... All right. All right. So basically, his second dinosaur is useless at this moment. I'm not going to keep following him. But... I think... I think... Almost... The NPC is going to... Yeah. He's going to forfeit if I basically close him. Ah, which is uh, definitely what I'm doing um, right now. So, should I summon in addition? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm cool, bro. Like, next turn, I think he's gonna forfeit. He cannot put two cards down, so he's gonna immediately have a 2,700 2, piece on his life points. All right? Okay, he's okay. He's running back right now. It's too late. It's too late. That is the he, that is the ace up his sleeve that I was to, telling you guys. That is that is yeah. That is uh, that is practical. Yeah. All right. So things are a little bit concerning right now, but for your duelist friend. The We're Chosen on the Shogun. I always have backup plans, bro. Always. Always. Yeah. yeah, I think I think what is going to turn it off right now is when his practical is going to attack my uh, my dragon and immediately have a, a loss. Exactly. Be 19,000 with 24. And I think we beat it the game right now. Oh, yeah, we did. We did. We did one. We did one with that, bro. My Sky Dragon's gonna be like, okay, cool. Wow, nasty, bro. Ain't one. All right, let me see the fight. Nice. Bro, it's so great playing my childhood game with you guys. Like, damn, so great, bro. I wanna see down in the comments below if any of you guys had this game. Go crazy! Oh, 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 stupid. Games, ah! Or like, if you played this game and if you liked it or not. <laughs> Damn, look at that. We folded Rex. We folded Rex, ladies and gentlemen. GG. <laughs> GG. That fusion has done it, bro. I want to know how I made that fusion, bro. I don't, I don't remember, bro. It was a combination of three cards. I don't remember. Oh, um, should I aim to get practical? One, oh no, one, two, three. All right, um, one, two, three. Oh, I thought you had to make triple to get the card. My bad, bro. Oh, my God. And we could get some good guys, bro. Anyway. What? Me? Lose? I don't believe it. That was it. Oh, more things open. Nice. So we here we have the, who's you? Necromancer. Oh, ST Darkness Ruler. We're gonna call you that. 
Chester. Yeah, I think I'm, I think we're gonna go with Chester, bro. We go. <laughs> so you are the legendary road duelist. Prepare to face the sing of my insect deck. I feel like in my head, Weevil sounded always like that, bro. All right. All right. I see another uh, terrain in their favor. Um. Why do I even have you? What did I do? All right. Spellbound? Look at Nightmare Scorpion, bro. B bro, a card that actually has around 900 attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because it's plus 500 from the terrain. Bro, who plays this shit, bro? That's why you be lowest, bro. Let me whoop your ass in your terrain. Wow, he ha wow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bruh, bruh. Wow. Let, let's see. Let's see the battle, bro. Bro. So nice and smooth. You look nasty. She whooped my boy for real. What kind of scorpion you are, bro? Nightmare scorpion because you have four shits behind. Extra stingy. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Okay. 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah. We all go to the. Bro, 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 bro. You have something more powerful than that? Okay. Oh my god. Chill. Yeah. Go, 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 Neville. Wivel. What, what, whatever the fuck your name is, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that right here to protect me diagonally. All right. I'm glad. So. Let me see. Let me see right now. No, no. Ah, why do I remember that this does something, bro? Is it with you or who is you, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, it was with the other one. Probably. I don't know. I don't remember, bro. Ah, uh, let me do that. Yeah, to, to scare him a little bit more. But I know that he's gonna go that way right now with what I did. So, anyway, let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He actually moved into the corner. Yes. That's nice, bro. Yes. Baby dragon about to get a fight. I want to see that. I want to see my baby dragon get his first fight, bro. Let's go. Proud, 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 bro. What? You are some kind of caterpillar with horns? Damn. What is that? Look at they do my body, bro. Ah, oh. he has abs. Three, six, six abs. He gonna punch the shit out of him, bro. Oh, flamethrower. Nice. Super effective. 
Yeah, it was super effective for him too, for real. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh. All right. All right, all right. That was a fair fight. Spellbound, it's all right. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, that is bad news. That is bad. Bro, get your ass out of here, bro. Instant. Wow, bro. I think I think I'm done with that. I think I think I'm gonna lose. Freak, nah. She's right in front of me, bro. What is that? What? What do I do? I'm one hit from here right now. Whoa. I can't afford any more damage like that. Wait, is she in range to attack my my 600 monster? Bro, I was, I was like, I'm done. I was like, I'm done. Bro, she has... Look at... How you're more powerful than Rex, bro? If she... Picks up a fight with me on the stone terrain, she gonna have 200... 2,000, right? So, if I step back... And put you right here with that. Nice. You're gonna have to. All right. All right. So you stay right here. I stay right here. And hopefully, hopefully. She, pick, she picks up a fight with me right here, bro. I respect the fact that he's not moving this. Bit. Oh, nice. A thousand down. That's nice, bro. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Sky Dragon yet again one more time. Here to serve its purpose. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we have finally his most uh, uh, powerful. Oh, I won. Boom. Because Ogre was in defense position and you, my friend, was uh, on attack position. Nice. And you get to still be nice. I would like to do that right here because it's more on his side as much as possible. Look at that. That is extra crispy, bro. Extra crispy right now. Nice. Okay, I cannot do that. Okay, I'm, his, I'm in his terrain right now. Okay, I cannot play another card. So hopefully he doesn't have something that is stronger than 2,900, bro. O obviously you have a, a blue eyes in your deck at this point, bro. Whoa, no. What is that? Don't tell me that it destroys my monster. Spellbound for how long? For how long? Three? Three rounds? Oh, I'm gonna play him right now. I'm gonna play him right now. If he attacks me with another monster, Wing Dragon, I, I don't remember his name. I'm gonna leave him like that. Oh, no. Nah. I won? Bro, I won. I won. Because his life points are 1,100, and he's gonna get 1,300. From this attack. So I won. Nice. Bro, wow. 
Honestly, this battle was way harder than the Rex, bruh. That is what is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. How? Alright. Let's see if we can get... Uh... One. Two. And... One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Let's be this bitch, man. Durro! You know what? If it is this, this, this something, the trap card is really nice. I was aiming for negate attack, but like stun and a monster for three rounds is powerful, bro. It's like you having a. a. No! I lost? This can be happening! Oh! That was. Yeah, that was bad. I know. So, as I was saying, so far, guys, the game is as lovely as I remember it. And that is, like, what makes it so amazing in my head. The fact that the game is exactly how I remembered it. And it has that, like, vibe and all that kind of situation that follows up from Forbidden Memories. One, uh, another game and one of the most amazing games that we ever played in PlayStation 1. Uh, in terms of card games, Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. Let me know guys down in the comments below. What do you think about the list of the Royals? Do you want me to keep going with the list of the Royals? Do you just want me to play some else? I don't know, bro. But either way, either way, it was a really great, um... Honor to play with you guys the beginning of Duelist of the Roses. Um, a game that is like so amazingly a uh, cool memory to me. But yeah, thank you all for being here. I put like the playlist and all about uh, Master Duel and some Yu Gi Oh! about the Dark Magician new opening pack that we did. And on my way to finish one of the most amazing, powerful Dark Magician decks. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm gonna put all the links that you need to see right here. So click whatever you want. And as always, bro, I love you, and I'ma see you in the next one. Stay true for be you do you, bro. And as always, Shogun is out. You know what I'm about. <coughs> I'm a Harley Chow and Chow.